What's going on, everybody? What is going on? Welcome to the show. Welcome to the Aegis Comics of Alaska live stream from your favorite comic book shop in Alaska. Well, we hope you're uh, we're your favorite. Otherwise, you're cheating on us. So we appreciate you uh, for all you guys tuning in on Saturday. Uh, this is a really quick show because we know that uh, uh, we've got UFC tonight. Uh, we also have uh, spine ticks coming up immediately afterwards. So all we're going to be talking about today, real quick, is giving you a teaser about the uh, 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 our 2022 Valley Comic Con. We're doing it again, guys. We are doing it again. Uh, let me bring on uh, a special guest here, real quick. God, every time, guys. <laughs> there, hold on. Let me, uh, <laughs> Kevin, for Whenever we film live, oh, here we go, here we go. Let me bring him back up. What's going on, man? What's up, man? <laughs> <laughs> as soon as you said, "Hey, we got somebody on the phone," starts ringing, I was like, "Oh, fuck. Okay. oh no, that's no, all good, man." So, uh, uh, guys, just a, a, a reminder that we do have comic console. Let me show. Uh, uh, let me show a little uh, the teaser that we did today, and this is just an IG te teaser for it. So, uh, Comic Con, we're doing it again, man. We're doing it again. Yeah, no, I'm pumped. Uh, like, I, uh, I was, we were talking earlier, man. I'm proud of what we did last year. I'm excited to do it again, man. Uh, if you went last year, you know it was an awesome show, man. We had fun. We had a ton of comic book, everything, anything nerd you can think of, man. I think we had figures there. We had. Uh, uh, Bifrost brought their custom-made uh, game consoles and all that stuff. There was it wasn't it wasn't just comics, you know. It was a whole lot of whole lot of geek enjoyment for everybody. It seemed like you know. Oh yeah, the uh, um, uh, the the big thing that we're really happy about this year is that once again we're sticking to the theme of comic books. You know, you know putting the comic books back in Comic Con type thing. You know, cause I think that's important. I think people keep forgetting that uh, uh, comic Comic Con, you know, it's 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 an abbreviation or it's a yeah, it's an abbreviation for a comic convention. You know, comic book convention. Hey, guys, come on. Yeah, it's in the name. It started off as a comic book convention, and that's what it is. It's a comic book convention. Uh, obviously, we. Uh, what we are throwing into the mix is, of course, the cosplay. We're going to have a cosplay contest and workshop at a uh, uh, at this event. Uh, for uh, those of you that just tuned in, it is uh, here. Let me bring up the flyer here, but it is October twenty second and twenty third by our primary sponsor for this event, which is Everett's Matsu Resort. Uh, they're located right there on Wasilla Lake, and. Uh, we are super stoked to be uh, t uh, teaming up with them because this is this is a time where small businesses, small restaurants, resorts need to be helping each other. Uh, the Matsu Resort, you know that 
This is a place that uh, remodeled back in like 2017. They get things going and then all of a sudden COVID happens. And we are really supportive of this local business. We want to make sure that they're successful and they're providing us a place where we can do this, man. And, you know, they're believing in us. They're trusting us to run this event. So uh, uh, the best we can do is have you guys showing up and showing some love for it. So uh, we hope that you guys do show. Once again, we're gonna have a co we're gonna have cosplay contests. We're gonna have cosplay workshop where we're gonna have a uh, 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 one of our uh, he has a, a Green Ranger, I think it is. He's got yeah, Green Ranger. He has his uh, uh, not the Green Ranger, but it's like I forget <laughs> it's, it's like Green Ranger one two three or something. I forget. I, I, I should memorize it by now. <laughs> He uh, he has a YouTube channel where he um, he basically shows you the top uh, uh, um, cosplay outfits available. He gives he does reviews on them, and during this workshop, he's going to be talking to people about certain cosplay outfits, what he recommends, what he doesn't recommend, you know, that kind of thing, and helping people that are trying to get started in cosplay do that. We'll also, uh, once again, we've got Ben Harvey and Mike Provo coming back, and we're super stoked about that. Uh, uh, Mike Provo actually did the uh, the main art for the... Uh, 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 for the uh, uh, Comic Con, so he did uh, the. Uh, let me see if I can pull it up here. But he did the uh, um, the main poster for it. Uh, special commission on that one. Let me see if I can find that here. I think it is maybe this one. No, <laughs> this one. We'll try. There it is. Yeah. Yeah. He made that. Uh, uh, hand drew that bad boy. So. Uh, this is uh, uh, our poster that we've been hang uh, hanging up around town. Uh, if you're a local business and would like one of these posters, uh, let me know. Uh, let Kevin know, and we'll get one to you ASAP. we got flyers coming out, too. We figure it's a, it's a comic con. The, the poster should reflect it. It looks like a comic book. So, <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> But, uh, uh, awesome. yeah, we really appreciate that uh, Mike did this for us. Um, so Mike's going to be there. Ben Harvey's going to be there. The VIP tickets, uh, just so that we can explain, the VIP tickets this year are really cool because you're going to get to show up for the whole weekend. You know, So Saturday, Sunday, you get to show up. And on top of that, uh, each day uh, that you show up Saturday and Sunday, the doors open an hour earlier for you so that you can actually have coffee and snacks with us on the house from us. And... Uh, you get to hang out exclusively with the vendors and with our, our celebrity guests. So uh, that includes our artists right now. Uh, celebrity guests, we're working on it right now. But whoever the celebrity guest is going to be, it's not going to be your typical. It's going to be someone in the comic book field. And celebrity for us up here is probably going to be a, uh, uh, a mainstream writer for uh, either DC or Marvel is what we're hunting for right now. Uh, we, we're on the move trying to get one up here. It's still in the early stages, but uh, we should be confirming someone here soon. We'll do a big announcement once we uh, we confirm who that person is, he or she, uh, and it'll be someone. Our goal is when we bring up a celebrity, it is someone that can raise the value of your books. I think that that's critical. Uh, I've always been a, a, a big critic of uh, cons where they have celebrities that do nothing for your collection you know if a uh, uh, if a certain movie star signs your comic book they would actually lower the value of your book whereas you know if you get one of these uh, celebrity artists or celebrity uh, uh, writers that are putting out awesome awesome books awesome content now you get that thing signed uh, witnessed and submitted now you got something that's worth something and you know I, I think that that gives back to the community uh, and the VIP passes gives you access to uh, exclusive access. The other thing the VIP access is going to get you, it's going to get you uh, uh, all of our retailer exclusives, including the Postmasters exclusive. That's also going to have a remark by Mike Provo. And there's going to be customized art, specially commissioned for Comic-Con, that is going to be remarked by both Ben Harvey and and Mike Provo, 
and the VIP pass gets you all of that included. So, of course, we're going to have raffles and everything else, but the VIP that pass, that's what get uh, uh, what you get. Also, we have the uh, uh, early bird specials. So, you, you save money right now, whether you're a vendor... Yeah, whether you're a vendor or you're coming in general admission, you know, daily. So either you're getting a, essentially it's Saturday, Sunday, weekend, or VIP. Those are the tiers for the passes right now. So either way you're saving, if you go on our website right now and purchase, you're going to save. If you wait, it is what it is, man. Uh, uh, uh. Uh, the prices will go up the day of the con. I mean, not crazy, but it, we do have to raise the price. So we're offering a, a substantial discount right now on the website. So make sure that you visit uh, AgesComicsAlaska.com. And the link is actually in the uh, uh, description below. So make sure that you click on that link. I hope that you guys will uh, 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 be able to make it. Once again, we are going all out on this one. The other thing I forgot to mention, man, we're also going to be doing uh, gaming again. We did uh, Smash Brothers uh, competition last year. But this time, we're also introducing uh, uh, tabletop gaming. I believe uh, uh, MJ's Cards and Games is going to be hosting a Warhammer 40K uh, 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 tabletop uh, and we'll we'll be announcing all that. There'll, there'll be uh, awards and all, you know all kinds of giveaways and stuff available for that one as well. The uh, uh, we will have door prizes. We will have a raffle that benefits Healing Hearts, which is a veteran program that is designed to help uh, 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 in suicide prevention and helping uh, uh, veterans uh, recover from both mental and physical injuries coming uh, coming off of uh, active duty. And as always, ma'am, we're going to have the books. We've got yeah. more than half, right? No. Yeah. Little, I'd say over half the uh, vendor spots are already gone. So we're, yeah. we're, keeping, we're keeping the vendor pool kind of uh, uh, small. So number one, it makes it worthwhile for the vendors to bring their A game when they show up. So it doesn't look like a flea market, but actually looks like a, uh, an actual comic con. And... Uh, 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 more importantly, uh, we don't have uh, uh, people showing up to the con feeling completely overwhelmed, you know. So it, it's going to be just like last year. There'll be uh, upstairs, downstairs. However, we're adding on the pavilion area, which is going to be for gaming and some other special events that we're doing. Uh, once again, that cosplay contest, we're going to be doing two days of cosplay contest. The uh, uh, Saturday will be... Uh, I think will be like kind of the family one and Sunday will be yeah, like the amateur cosplayers will be uh, Saturday and Sunday will be more of the pro division. So, you know, because we figured it's not fair, you know, you, you just spent, you know, thousands of hours developing a cosplay outfit custom and then you're losing out to some cute little three year old that got there. <laughs> Cause they're, I'm gonna pick, pick the little Black Panther every time. Yeah, yeah, cause yeah, cause they, you know they they're whooping your ass with cuteness. So uh, <laughs> they know what they're doing too. They're like, vote for me, please. Yeah, yeah, it's just not fair. So we're we're gonna uh, we're gonna even the playing field by having the two the two events. So Saturday will be uh, amateur all in, and Sunday will be more of the pro division. So uh, and then gaming. Uh, there's also going to be a workshop with uh, MJ's Cards and Games uh, teaching people how to paint the figurines for Warhammer and stuff. So that's going to be really cool as well. So we'll have that all available at this year's Comic Con. And once again, uh, uh, it is only successful because of the people that support us. You guys watching and, and uh, spreading the word. Our local sponsors uh, right now, uh, as always, the Awakenings uh, Espresso Coffee is sponsoring us. The uh, 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 ah, Everett's Matsu Resort right there on Wasilla Lake sponsoring us. And Jackie's Unique Boutique, who's going to be one of our uh, uh, premium vendors, she is bringing a bunch of new anime-themed clothing like she slayed at art at comic con this year oh, yeah. and uh she went super saiyan literally on the new stuff that she's coming out with she's got hero academia one piece uh naruto dragon ball z 
Uh, and speaking of which, uh, that new Dragon Ball uh, movie just came out and broke records. That movie, just a side note for anime fans, the new Dragon Ball movie that just came out uh, already broke uh, records. It's uh, uh, $10.2 million for its uh, uh, opening on Friday. Yeah, which beats the record of 10.1, uh, which was like in 2017. So actually, earlier than that. So, I mean, uh, uh, anime anime's making its thing right now. Well, it's always been around. I mean, uh, for those of you that watched, you know, uh, Battle of the Planets or uh, uh, Shogun Warriors or any of that stuff back in the day, you know, it's been around for a minute. You know, and uh, uh, now all of a sudden, here it is back in the in the mainstream in everybody's face. There isn't a kid in uh, in the nation that doesn't know who Goku is. I I, I suspect Goku's probably just as popular as uh, as Superman and Spider Man. Same with uh, one uh, One Punch and the characters from One Piece. I mean, so uh, I digress. Though the big thing is that Jackie's unique boutique will be at the show, and she is going to have a significant. Uh, 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 you know, selection of anime themed clothing that people are going to love, and of course, we're going to have our selections of manga and everything else available, plus all the other vendors that are bringing in their collectibles. Uh, a good majority of the vendors that came last year are going to be back again this year and uh, bringing their A game. So, uh, m- uh, the show's expanded, uh, uh th- we're not going to be sharing that event with anybody this time it's going to be actually uh exclusively the comic con so we've got way more space to work with and uh yeah man if you like if you like uh hanging out by a lake and uh you're looking for something to do the the weekend before uh, halloween weekend Mm -hmm. there's nothing better to do man go to uh uh, attend our comic con and of course it gives you a break from the kids too (laughs) it'll give you that that one that one break in the school year man where you could just show up and uh do the comic con so uh once again the information is here it is valley comic con uh and it is october 22nd and 23rd uh and uh you can buy tickets right now the link is available in our description below you can also just go to uh agescomicsalaska.com yeah i know right uh, professor of comics right now i know i know <laughs> i do man i got my smart glasses on but um i gotta keep up with kevin man kevin got the kevin got the smart glasses uh what uh what are you excited about the this comic con as we get ready to wrap this up here but uh what are you excited about uh mostly just getting everybody back together again, man, and having a, yeah. I had a blast last time, as stressful as it was, man, leading up to it. It was, uh, it was fun, man. It was cool getting to hang out with everybody. And I'm excited for, uh, I've been getting a lot of phone calls at the shop, people asking, uh, about what they're selling and what they're doing and if they fit in at the con. And it sounds, uh, it sounds like we're going to have a little bit of everything, man. It, it sounds like we got local artists that are interested in getting booths. We got, uh, couple of guys that have got just a a crap ton of figures like lots of star wars figures and stuff like that uh got a booth and then of course you know our guys that are always selling comics uh uh bosco's just called uh i think they're i I know they usually uh if if they end up coming they they got they they set up a whole store almost man like in inside there they got yeah everything so it's a It'll be fun, man. It's going to be awesome. It's going to be, like I was just saying, something for everybody, man. So uh, come check it out, man. Last year's show was a blast. Yeah, it, that was our first Comic-Con. We did it straight from scratch. Uh, this year, we're not associated with anyone. It's just, it's Aegis Comics of Alaska Presents. And uh, we are able to do this because of you guys. So we appreciate it. Remember, get your tickets. And uh, we... What, uh, the next couple of videos, I'll have uh, Amy on next weekend with Kevin and I, and uh, uh, we'll have more information about the con, probably some more skits, <laughs> and, and uh, a lot more promos, man. So, uh, oh, Mike Provo there. What's going on, Mike? So, uh, remember, oh, also we have, uh, uh, we'll be posting it uh, on Instagram here shortly, but uh mike designed a uh, special decal for us man that uh, uh uh 
to help here. support the shop, man. Oh, yeah, put that up. Yeah, that uh, support support your local comic shop sticker, man. We've got them. We'll have them available at J-Bear. They're available right now at uh, the shop. Pick up one. They're five bucks each. I believe you could also pick them up from our website as well. <clears throat> but yeah, they're just five bucks each. Let me see if I could bring that artwork up real quick. Let me see. Uh, um, yeah, you just show them the sticker and then um, I think, uh, right, let me see here. Ah, I'm not going to be able to bring it up right now. Uh, well, well, hold on, hold on. Let me try this here real quick. Uh, dun, dun, dun. Yep, here we go. Yeah, so it's this one right here. So uh, this is just to help support the shop, keep the doors open. So if you if you want to represent the shop, here's a, another decal designed by uh, Mike Provo. So come check it out. Also make sure to check out our swag shirt, our swag shop. Um, links are all in the description below, man. We appreciate you guys. Don't forget, man. Up next is Spine Ticks. So, what? yeah, if uh, uh, if if you if you are struggling with sleep disorder, Spine Ticks uh, will feed that disorder. Actually, yeah, because you're gonna stay up. <laughs> you're gonna be gone for a couple hours. Oh, yeah, no, I didn't. Mean, yeah, they were gonna help you go to bed. <laughs> Yeah, if uh, uh, if you got if you don't want to watch uh, 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 the nightmare beating the brakes off of somebody again, uh, yeah, you got to watch Spine Ticks, man. You got to watch our fam. All right, guys, uh, we love you. We appreciate you, and stay tuned for more stuff coming out this week. Yeah. All right. Oh wait. Oh, Kevin, you need to hop on uh, Spine Ticks at one point. You're gonna oh, need sure, to. Okay. Yeah, just uh, uh, Mark and Kevin. You need to send uh, send them the link. He he'll do it. Uh, Kevin's crazy like that. <laughs> <laughs> All right, guys. See you later. All right, later, guys.